So you guys are like, you've reached the epitome of like twin goals now. How was that? Like how, lovely, how do you keep composed when Lena's right there and you guys get so excited when you do well? So how do you keep composed in a situation like that? I don't think I did. <laughs> it's really difficult because um, we broke and I knew she was really close to me because I could see her and then we were elbowing each other around the first bend. <laughs> it's quite difficult but um, I just had to remember that she's another competitor and she's not my twin sister on the day. <laughs> and Lena, you've, come, you've done two PBs this weekend. Yeah. How excited are you for the outdoors and how fast you're running looking into the season? What, how, what are you feeling right now? I, I never quite expected this actually. Um, I mean, I've, training's been going well. I mean, I've been training for the hurdles, so I definitely think that's gotten me a lot stronger and I can hold my form a bit better. Um, but I didn't think that I could contend with Alien Lavia. I always put them on the pedestal and thought, no, you can't. But um, after the semi, it just gave me like a boost of confidence knowing that that was a PB and I didn't even try my hardest. So going into the final, I was just like, just hold on to them. Just hold on and it will get you there. And it, and it did. <laughs> so now, Lavia, do you feel like you're going to be pushed to keep beating Lena and it's going to be like a struggle between you both? I think it's always great to have my twin sister there at training because... I won't let her beat me, <laughs> so if she's right next to me then I'll be like, I need to work harder and push myself a bit more, but no, it's really positive when we both kind of do well because it really pushes us even further than it already does. So your competitors on the track at competition, what are you like at training? Do you take it as seriously? No. In, in training it's, it's very healthy, I think it's, we've all, we're almost at an advantage because we are like identical twin sisters, so we know that if she's ahead, I should be with her, and so it's a, it's a good healthy competition, it just pushes us yeah. even further. But at training we're both, we're like best friends. So we always mess about and have a bit of fun with it, which is well, why I love training sport without fun. You know? <laughs> so, Lovey, there's a bit of a change for you in terms of not having uni this year. Yeah. What are your plans, both of you, for the rest of the season? Um, London's on top of my list. I was aiming for Rio last year and had a really disappointing season and not making it really broke my heart. So to, I took a massive decision this, this year to take a year off union. I'll be on the London team. <laughs> ending your season earlier last year, was that all about prep for next outdoors? Yeah, my, my head just wasn't where it was. I was really quite devastated and yeah, I just broke down completely. So decided to kind of step back and have a bit more fun with the sport and yeah, focus a bit more on this year. And what's your plans for the outdoor season? I just, I just want to keep getting better, keep improving. I mean, my training's going really well and I, I hope to do as well in the four hurdles as I can in the 400. So it's all about the two, just, just getting them better as they can be. Massive well done guys, that was really cute to watch. Well done. Thank you.